All right, welcome to Photoshop. So today I'm gonna to show you how to add sun rays to any photo inside of Photoshop. And the cool thing about this is we're gonna make it into an action. And if you can't figure out the action on your own, I'm going to add this action as a free download on my new website. So if you want the action, you can go to the website, go to the page with this video. I'll have the link in the description and you can download this action. If this is something that you like, free actions, let me know in the descriptions and I'll start adding them to more of my videos. All right, so let's go ahead and start the process of adding sun rays to this image. First thing we need to do, since this is gonna be an action, is we need to create that, so we'll open up our actions. We're on button mode now, we're gonna click button mode off. We're gonna come in here. I'm gonna create a new action set, and the reason for the action set is so I can just download this one action for you. So we'll say new set, and we will call this JW, JWI Sun Ray. We'll hit okay, and then we're gonna create just a simple action. So come up here, new action, and we'll call this sun rays, and we are ready to go. I'll give this the color orange since that's typically what the colors are gonna be, and we'll hit record. Now everything that we do from now on, it's gonna record. First step, we're gonna create a new layer, but instead of coming down here to click on this and make this a new layer, for actions, I like to do it this way. So we're gonna go layer, new, layer, and we're gonna call this sun Okay, so now we've got this blank layer. The problem with this is there's nothing in there. So we actually need a color. It doesn't matter which color. So we're just gonna go to edit, fill, and add the color white. Now with the color white, it allows us to do the next step. But before we do that next step, because it's gonna be a filter, I'm gonna convert this to a smart object so we can change those filters later on. So I'm gonna right click out here and go convert to smart object. And then we're gonna come up here and go to filter, render, and difference clouds. And you're gonna get this funky effect right here. That's perfect, that's what we want. Then we're gonna go right back up and go to filter, and we're gonna to go to blur, radial blur. Now by default, it's usually set on spin. Click on zoom, make sure your amount is at 100%, best quality. And then this is the trick, and we're gonna put a stop in this action for this you can actually move this around to have a location of where your sun flares are gonna start. In my case, I want them like way out here on the top right, so I'm gonna move it on the top right. So we're gonna hit okay, and you can see it's gonna start them up here on the top right corner and blur them out this way. But if we wanted this to start this way and go out in all these different directions, we could do that. Now we've got this, but it's not strong enough, so we're gonna repeat that and go to radial blur again and hit okay. and boom, we've got a little bit stronger streak there. All right, we're gonna increase the contrast of this a little bit. So I'm gonna hit Command M, which is curves, and I'm just gonna make my whites whiter and my darks darker. We're just increasing the contrast a little bit, and that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit OK. And the reason we did that is for the next step to make it easier to drop things out. So we're gonna come up to our blending mode and goes from normal down to screen. So that's just gonna show the whiter areas. Now it's still a little bit too strong. So we're gonna come out here in this gray area and I'm gonna double left click. So click, click, and we get layer style. That's what we want. And we wanna come down here to blend if. We're gonna slide this over and what we're doing is just taking out some more of those dark areas. To split this little slider, which will make it a smoother transition, you're gonna hold the Alt or Option key. We're gonna split this out. And you can see, we just wanna pick out those strong light rays and we wanna get rid of the darker areas. So we'll just go like that. And you can change this at any time. We're gonna hit OK and boom, we've changed that blend if mode. Now, right now our light rays are kind of strong and, and you could keep them like this, but if you wanna blur your light rays, you would come up here to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're gonna get that kind of softer look and I can control this. And this is something that you can always go back into at any time. So we're gonna hit okay. 
All right, so now we've created our light rays, but we want to add some color to our light rays. So to add color to our light rays, we need to make a hue saturation or a color fill. Either one would do the same thing. So we're going to come up here. We're going to pick hue saturation. We're going to hit colorize. Then we can slide this over until we get the kind of color of the light rays that we want. And that looks pretty good. We'll stick with that. I could adjust the saturation of the light rays. We're going to keep it like that for right now. But remember, we don't want this color everywhere. We just want it right down here. So we're going to come into here and click that little clipping mask. And that's just clipping it just to those sun rays. Then we're going to take these images right here and we're going to group them. So I'm going to hold that. I'm going to hold shift, click both of those and then hit command G and we'll call this sun rays. And this is the cool part of this. Now we can just lower that and we can get a different effect. Okay. Now, if you don't want to lower the opacity of the color overlay, you would not want to do it this way. You'd want to go into this and just select the sun rays and then just lower this. And you're not changing the color, but you're changing how much and how strong the sun rays are. So now we've removed some of those sun rays that made them softer. That's cool. That's exactly what we would want to do. And now for this action, that's basically all I'm going to do. So I'm going to stop the action for right now. So we're going to go back into here. We're going to hit the stop button and we're done with that action. And just to prove that the action works, we'll select all this stuff and trash it. And I'm going to come in here and I'll do it the button mode way just so it's easier for everybody. Actually, before we do the button mode, let me go in here and change this one thing. So right here is that radial blur that we had. We're going to add a stop to that. So this is saying, hey, when you get to this, stop. Okay. And we're going to add it to both of them so that you can change that point. So if you have another image and you want the light rays to go this way, you can move it over to here. Otherwise, it would always come from this top point here, which is what you might not want. Oh, let's go ahead and go back to button mode now. And I'll show you how this works. So you're going to come in here and you're going to click the sunrise and it's going to stop at that point. You could move this around to wherever you want. Then you hit OK. The same thing, just hit OK. It should stop in the same location. And now it will run through the rest of the action and boom, just like that, we've got those sun rays. Now, this next step is something that you could add to this if you wanted to. And the reason that I don't add it in the action is because it's really simple. Um, it's going to be dependent on wherever you put this source point from where the light rays start. So if you want to add sort of a little wash, you can do that. And you want to do it in between these areas here. All right. So once we've got this little sunray thing, we're going to create a new layer down here and we're going to hit new layer and then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to make my brush super huge and soft. And you can see I've got it about 34%. We're using the color white and we're just going to come up here and click. And that's just going to add a little wash to it. And we're going to do it one more time. And you can see that's just getting a better look for the sun. Look like it's coming in here. And I could even do this bigger if I wanted and wash it in a little bit more. And now this is all going to be clipped together. So this is going to get the color and this is going to get the color if you do it that way. The only other thing that could change is you could come in here to your sun rays and you can add a mask. So if you didn't want the sun rays to fill up the whole image, you could simply come in here with a big black brush. We'll go 100%. Let's make it smaller than that. And then you can simply erase where some of the sun rays are. So if you wanted a more specific point, then you could do that by just painting into your mask. And now the sun rays are just going to come there in the center. So not in this area, not in this area. It's just going to come in here and hit those locations. Well, that's it of how to create sun rays in Adobe Photoshop using an action. Don't forget, if you want this action for free, it's going to be available on my website. Just click on the link below. 
If you found this video helpful, if you could give us a thumbs up, that would be great. Any comments or questions can be left in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe.